Hi guys, Jared O'Neill here uh, with Castle Tag Raiden. Um, so I've done a short video yesterday, I'm doing uh, an island uh, on a hand painted kitchen. Uh, the customer wasn't happy with the original colour and she wanted this colour darker. So uh, even trying to get the right colour, um, the last couple of days, you know, Getting the right shade of grey has been quite difficult. Anyway, believe it or not, the colour that she's chosen is charcoal grey, which we would use a lot for an undercoat for all dark colours, you know, black, blue, uh, brown, all that type of thing. But anyway, I have got it mixed in crown satin finish. It's an oil-based paint. Um, so what I've done is, uh, originally I primed this all, obviously I cleaned it all down, I degreased it basically, give it all a nice light sand, uh, primed it with Colour Train Prime 2 epoxy. Then I put uh, the original colour that the customer picked, uh, which was this colour here basically, and she thought it was too light. So this will do for a base coat anyway over the primer. And um, so as you can see, it still looks a wee bit patchy because this one, the white primer. Now, uh, so basically what I'm gonna do is put the first coat of charcoal gray satin on it uh, and let you see how it goes on. Um, uh, I mixed the oil-based paint with paint conditioner, which is called Oteral uh, Paint Conditioner Oil, which gives it a lovely flow. Uh, a far smoother finish and it does eliminate the brush marks you know you really do get a good finish um, I do do kitchens a lot in water based as well uh, you you can have a paint conditioner for that as well which is called Floaterol again same company makes it so I'll do this wee panel for you anyway and let you see what you think of the colour so uh, again I'm using a, an inch and a half pretty and uh, again a good brush get a nice smooth finish. So here we go. Just do these wee edges first here. When I do these kits and sometimes I put my glasses on, you know, to make sure I get everything, you know, these wee fine edges here in underneath your socket. There you go. The thing with, about the oil based paint is it is hard, it, uh, you know, it is hard wearing, you know, and you have more working time with it as well, you know, so. But with a paint conditioner in it, that's one of the benefits. It does give you more working time as well. Just bring that down a little bit there, let you see. So as you can see, it is, it's going on very smooth. It's covering well. It is a lot, a lot darker than the original gray that I put on, but it's covering very well. I've done this side of it here. Uh, when I finish this, I'll show you how it come up. And I've two doors taken off uh, of the backs of those doors done. Uh, so I'm gonna put them on tomorrow. And then I'll do the front of the doors. Again, I'll let you have a look at those in a few minutes. See how smooth that paint goes on. Uh, see with the oil on it, it really does give you a lovely finish. Real nice smooth finish, you know. And of course now before I uh, painted this, I give it a, a, a wee light sand and used a tack cloth, wiped all the fine dust off it so the surface is really spotless before this paint went on, you know. Very, very important, you know, especially when you're doing hand painted kitchens and furniture, that the surface is spotless.
Now, some things are, you know, when I'm doing panels like this, I would use a wee roller. Uh, it makes your job a lot quicker, but because I'm only doing a, it's only an island, it's not a lot of work involved on it, you know, I'm just brushing it in, you know. Okay, it doesn't take much, it doesn't take really that long to the, the, the brush it in, you know. Again, okay, whenever you have the oil and the paint, it does spread fairly well. So whenever you do all that there, you know, make sure you lay it off very, very light, very fine brush marks, as you can see. And then just at the bottom of it, bring it up. And again, one of the say one of the benefits of the oil is it really does eliminate those brush marks. You do get a lovely smooth finish. Just bring that down, very, very light, nice straight brush marks. There you go. So then what I'll do is I'll come around the top, do the top edge, both sides, and then the bottom. Um, Yeah, and just bring your brush tight onto that socket there and just lay it off very, very light. And do the other side. Just put the glasses on here, make sure I'm getting nice tight edge on into the socket without touching it. And then just onto the granite here, just a nice straight edge along there. And again, just very, very light, lay it off. And then bring your two edges down here. There's just a wee tip for you. So you have a wee join here, okay? So you need to follow the, the that join. So just bring that across like that. Just pass your join and then just get your brace onto that line there and bring it down very, very light. And the same on the other side. Again, you have a join there, just bring it across like that. 
And then get your brush and follow that line down. And then far away, like just lay it off. There we go. And just put a wee dust sheet out here. And let me have a look at the bottom there. straight laying across the retainer. And again, if you haven't got a steady hand there, you can get a wee bit of masking tape and just run it along your tailor at the bottom if you're not confident to, uh, you know, cut it in a long way. And again, you have that wee join in the wood there. So, um, i just show you. You just kind of go across here. Lay it off very light. And then that line there, just bring it up like so. 